This video starts on page 11 of your neck process. Okay, with the nut slot cut, we can install the fret template, which has that aluminum bar that registers the location of the nut slot. We tape this to the neck. And you can have any number of frets you like. Um, the the logical numbers would be minimum of 7, then up from that there would be 12, 14, 15, and the full fretboard would be 19. I'm doing 15 frets on this one. That pin is what we use to locate the neck relative to this fret slot cutter mini table saw, and that pin goes in a hole and uh, I've lined everything up so that the frets go in the right place. When you turn the table saw on, you'll have a slight delay before the blade spins up. That's normal. Now pass the neck through slowly. You'll hear the motor bog down a little bit, and that'll tell you how hard you can push. Go to fret number two. And you notice I'm lifting the neck out rather than pulling it back. That's so it doesn't cut the slot too wide. Here we are doing the last fret, and you have a fretboard worth of fret slots. Okay, next step is to cut the next taper, and this needs to be done after the fret slots are cut. Here we are making a mark 3 eighths of an inch behind the nut slot, and another mark 13 inches uh, behind the nut slot. I'm transferring that to the back of the neck so I can see it. And these are our guide marks for the cutting. Okay, you'll want to obtain these taper spacers. These have been specially thicknessed so that the neck taper comes out right. And tape these securely to the headstock. You want to make sure that the neck and taper spacer slide smoothly without any movement. Okay, that's a vertical featherboard. This is used to hold the neck flat to the table saw so the blade doesn't lift it up. To install this, it's magnetically clamped. You position it just adjacent to the blade, and you lock it so that the feathers point in the direction of motion. Now we're adjusting the fence to 2.34, and now we fine adjust the fence such that the blade just starts to engage the neck at that 13 inch mark, or just uh, below it on the screen. So it's, there's a slight gap at 13. That's a safe setting there. And there engages it. Okay. Now with that vertical fretboard, we excuse me, vertical featherboard, we don't need to hold the neck down. It's going to do that for us. And so we can keep our hands away from the blade as we do this cut. That blade is all the way high at three inches. That's important and we stop the cut at when the blade reaches the 3 8 inch mark and that 3 8 mark is calibrated to that blade at that height so that um, well we'll see in a minute here so that on the other side the blade reaches the nut slot so it's important that you have the blade all the way high otherwise it'll cut beyond Okay, we remove the digital readout, lower the blade all the way. The digital readout only works with the fence to the right of the blade. And now we slide the fence to the other side. Those are those magnetic clamps that I just unlocked. Slide the fence to the other side, reinstall the vertical featherboard. Now you'll need to re, uh, so set it adjacent to the blade. You'll need to readjust the feathers so they point in the direction of motion, otherwise the featherboard will lock up on you. Set the height, gentle pressure is all you need, just the weight of the feathers is plenty. Lock it, make sure it slides smooth. Now we're going to raise the blade again to its full height. And this side we have to look at this scale, the conventional scale. That's 2 and 5 sixteenths plus a little bit, and fine adjust the fence so that you get, again, get the neck to just engage the blade 
right around the 13. Ready to cut again. You can see the vertical featherboard is keeping the neck down. All I have to do is push on the headstock so my fingers are not close to the blade. You can go slowly and burn the wood because we'll fix that later. And when you get to the 3 8 inch mark, shut the blade off. And if that came out well, we should have a nice looking taper that stops right at the nut slot. You can measure that taper. You want to get between 1.75, so I got lucky there right on, um, to 1.78 and then remove the spacers.